Did you know that not counting some forms of skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in American men? In the United States, one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during the course of their life. There is no way to know for sure if you will get prostate cancer, but men have a greater risk of prostate cancer if they are 50 years old or older, are African American, or have a father, brother, or son who has had prostate cancer. So, can you reduce the risk of prostate cancer? While it's recommended that men discuss the benefits and risks of prostate cancer screening with their doctors, there's also the question of whether there's a way to reduce the risk of developing prostate cancer in the first place. Lycopene, vitamin E, and selenium are marketed to men as tools to reduce the chance of developing the disease. But is supplementation beneficial? Can eating specific foods help? Despite the many studies that have been done on selenium and vitamin E, their role in prostate cancer remains inconclusive. Some studies have shown a benefit of lycopene-rich foods and reduced risk of prostate cancer. However, the strength of the research is still low. Most experts agree that men should get the recommended amounts of these nutrients from foods rather than supplements. A general, healthful eating pattern contains these nutrients, which are naturally available in a variety of foods. Eating plentiful amounts of vegetables, fruits, beans, whole grains, nuts, and seeds contributes to overall health, including reducing risk of many types of cancer. If you're concerned about your risk of prostate cancer, you may be interested in prostate cancer prevention. Let's take some steps to prevent prostate cancer. Step 1. Choose a healthy diet. There is some evidence that choosing a healthy diet that's low in fat and full of fruits and vegetables may contribute to a lower risk of prostate cancer. Though research results have been mixed, and this hasn't been proved concretely. If you want to reduce your risk of prostate cancer, consider trying to Choose a low-fat diet. Foods that contain fats include meats, nuts, oils, and dairy products, such as milk and cheese. In some studies, men who ate the highest amount of fat each day had an increased risk of prostate cancer. This doesn't prove that excess fat causes prostate cancer. Other studies haven't found this association. But reducing the amount of fat you eat each day has other proven benefits, such as helping you control your weight and helping your heart. To reduce the amount of fat you eat each day, limit fatty foods or choose low-fat varieties. For instance, reduce the amount of fat you add to foods when cooking, select leaner cuts of meat and choose low-fat or reduced-fat dairy products. Increase the amount of fruits and vegetables you eat each day. Fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins and nutrients that are thought to reduce the risk of prostate cancer, though research hasn't proved that any particular nutrient is guaranteed to reduce your risk. Eating more fruits and vegetables also tends to make you have less room for other foods, such as high-fat foods. You might consider increasing the amount of fruits and vegetables you eat each day by adding an additional serving of a fruit or vegetable to each meal. Consider eating fruits and vegetables for snacks. Reduce the amount of dairy products you eat each day. In studies, men who ate the most dairy products, such as milk, cheese, and yogurt each day, had the highest risk of prostate cancer. But study results have been mixed, and the risk associated with dairy products is thought to be small. Step 2. Maintain a healthy weight. Men who are obese, a body mass index of 30 or higher, may have an increased risk of prostate cancer. If you are overweight or obese, work on losing weight. You can do this by reducing the number of calories you eat each day and increasing the amount of exercise you do. If you are at a healthy weight, work to maintain it by exercising most days of the week and choosing a healthy diet that's rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Step 3. Exercise most days of the week. Studies of exercise and prostate cancer risk have mostly shown that men who exercise may have a reduced risk of prostate cancer. Exercise has many other health benefits and may reduce your risk of heart disease and other cancers. Exercise can help you maintain your weight or it can help you lose weight. If you don't already exercise, make an appointment with your doctor to make sure it's okay for you to get started. When you begin exercising, go slowly. Add physical activity to your day by parking your car farther away from where you're going and try taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Aim for 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week. 
some men have an increased risk of prostate cancer. For those with a very high risk of prostate cancer, there may be other options for risk reduction, such as medications. If you think you have a high risk of prostate cancer, discuss it with your doctor. So guys, I hope this information will help you to make a healthy lifestyle. Stay healthy and stay with Health Conscious.